Hello, my name is Rachel Wood and today I'm going to talk about the Olympic Games and how it impacts society. First of all, what are the Olympics? The Olympic Games are an international multi-sport event subdivided into summer and winter sporting events. There are numerous athletes participating within various sport, sporting competitions. This takes place every four years in some part of the world. Most nationalities nowadays compete within these events and there are also the Paralympics in which athletes with disabilities compete. Secondly, I'll provide you with a brief summary of the history. The original Olympic Games were hosted in ancient Greece and were a mix of religion and sport. Pierre de Coubertin created the International Olympic Committee and allowed the revival of the Olympic Games through the first modern Olympic Games which took place in Athens in 1896. The Games have taken place in several countries throughout the world since then, such as Munich, Germany in 1972, Moscow, Russia in 1980, Georgia, USA in 1996, and most recently, Beijing, China in 2008. But since the Munich Olympics in 1972, where we saw an impact on society because of politics, several adaptions have taken place. Looking into the upcoming Olympic Games in London, England 2012, I will discuss some of the following impacts it may have on society, both positively and negatively. Throughout today's society, any major event has some form of impact on society, whether it's positive or negative. With London to host the upcoming Olympics in 2012, there has been a lot of controversy over, overall about how the city will fund and facilitate everyone, including athletes and tourists. But efforts are being made to make sure everything is complete and will be ready in time for the events to take place. Now I will provide you with some positive impacts society may gain. One positive impact it will have on the city of London will be an increase economically. Since the bid was complete in 2005, there have been more jobs created and businesses will grow once the games start to take place due to an increase in tourism. The business world, in the business world, any company strives to gain the most from these types of events and an increase in sales and total revenue can be an overall outcome for them. Once the games are complete, the use of the facilities will also have an impact on the local communities, as most of the facilities are newly made just for the games. It will be publicly available to use once the Olympic Games are complete. And now some negative impacts. One negative impact the game could have on the city of London is that it could cause a threat for terrorism. With an increase in tourists, there will no doubt be a higher level than normal and the government will have to have security measures in place to ensure the safety of each individual. Another problem is that it will cause more congestion within the city of London than ever before and this will not have a good impact on the environment. And finally, the overall cost of building the facilities is already affecting the society and it continues to increase with the regeneration and development of older facilities and land areas increasing in cost. Overall, I feel that the Olympics will boost not only the city of London but also England economically. Tourists will help towards this massively and it will be a great event to have in England. People will be able to see what England has to offer and I feel that most of the negative effects can be avoided with good planning by the government and the Olympic Committee. One other interest, interesting fact that you may not know is about the Olympic flag's significance. The five coloured ring symbol and the white background represents the union of the five continents coming together and the world's best athletes meeting within the Olympic events. This shows a lot about our society today and how culture, culturally we come together to compete in events and like the past, the Olympics, it can relate to religion and sport at the same time. Thank you.